Bonnie Hoffman here, and she just recently bought a John Deere PRG 8000 ME generator with 8,000 watts of power. And today, we're gonna give her a brief overview on how to work this thing. How easy was it to purchase? Took two minutes. Two minute purchasing time. She got to pick from a whole selection of Honda generators, an entire selection of John Deere generators. She chose this bad daddy. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to see is on the top, this will be where you can insert your fuel. Here is your choke throttle. We have your fuel shutoff valve. Here is your pull start. Now, obviously this is an electric start, but just in case the battery dies, you can pull start it from here. Let's go over here to this pan. Circuit board, and the first and most important button is how to turn this thing on. And that is found over here on the left side. Now to turn it on, you're gonna simply engage with your finger and hold until it is fully started. So it's not as simple as just pressing the button, you do need to hold it for maybe a few seconds. Went off, go ahead and leave it in the off position. Now down here, this is going to be your efficiency control. So if it is turned on, the generator will only ramp up to the wattage that is needed with anything that's plugged You'll in. You'll see you have four plug-in options, which are all powered by your 10 amp here. The switch that we're gonna see here is what's gonna allow you to make these plugs and get this ampage to turn on. So when you simply turn the generator on, that doesn't mean that you're on here. That just means you can start it up. To get these options rolling here, you need to go ahead and turn this on. Okay, and always make sure it's off whenever you're not using the generator. Because you will be storing this generator until hurricane season, what we've done is we have taken your fuel switch and turned it off over to the left. And what that will allow us to do when we turn the machine on is to go ahead and clear all the gasoline out of the carburetor, which once emptied, this uh, generator can be stored for many months on end without spoiling your gas. Just make sure that your choke is always to the right. This is fully operational. When it's on the left, your choke is engaged. You never wanna run your generator with the choke engaged the whole time. It's only there to help you start the machine. So if I wanted to start it right now, I would switch it to the left. I would press start. And then about eight seconds after it starts, I'd flip this back and let it run. You'll notice an increase in sound and an increase in vibration as it ramps up after you've turned that off. You wanna turn your fuel switch down back down to the bottom, which is going to allow you to run the generator with the fuel that's in the tank. But once again, I'll turn it back. And now the, the generator is ready for long-term storage. Nice and compact, so it makes for easy storage. You have your clips here that you can pull out. Fold this down. That's all we have for you today. Uh, we've now dropped this generator off Bonnie Hoffman's house, <laughs> and she's gonna really enjoy it come hurricane season. This uh, this whole house can be powered up. She'll be drinking her lemonade, watching her shows.